Hello everybody and welcome to Nathan on Shuffle and to my latest episode of New Album Spotlight. This is the show where I put the spotlight on a new album that has come out in Prague or a related genre and let you guys know about it and what it's all about and then let you guys see if you want to go check it out and go listen. So a really great one today, one of the big prog releases that I've heard this year that I definitely want to get into. This is Seven Impale and their album Summit. Uh, I just really love this record. This is a band that was formed in Norway back in 2010. They released two albums prior to this, City of the Sun in 2014 and then Contrapasso in 2016. So now they're back after a little bit of a of a break between those albums in 2023 with Summit. They're a band that really blends this jazzy, jazz fusion kind of style with a more heavier, more meaty prog uh, backing. And it's really an eclectic sound. It brings to mind artists like King Crimson, of course, uh, Frank Zappa, perhaps, Anglegard, you know, some of these big Scandinavian prog bands with a big, heavy sound. I think there's a little bit of Van der Graaff Generator baked into their sound also. So it's a really great blend of different styles and things, and they're able to bring in these more vintage organ sounds and, and elements, and it sounds like it comes from that era, but done with a lot of more modern, heavy tinge, like some of that metal crunch that you expect from some of the more modern prog bands like Haken and, and Tool and all of those style groups as well, even something heavy like Meshuga. You get a bit of that all mixed into this stew, and makes for a really eclectic, interesting, proggy listen that is really satisfying. It's it's a great length of an album. It's right in that like 40, 43, 44 minute sweet spot. There's four tracks. They're all fairly lengthy, so you get a lot uh, of meat on the bone to really explore in each one of these different tracks. And they each have somewhat of their own individual identity, even though there's a lot of cohesion and they have this similar style throughout the whole album, you know, and you get a lot of these heavy epic riffs and intense jazzy organ and sax soloing and the saxophone is really a very prominent instrument in their sound that really accents their ability to, to weave into this more jazzy direction, but with a heavier bedrock of harder rock edge. A uh, Hunter starts the album with some creepy piano notes before the whole band kicks in with a dark crimson-esque riff with vintage organ, guitar, and saxophone. We get some dramatic vocals and a bit of a slow, deliberate march of a song with a lot of menace baked into the, the track. Things get even more intense and quicker pace in a midsection with some vocal chatter in the background. I love this quirky, jazzy, but heavy section led with great sax riffs. Feels like a dark, twisted version of Frank Zappa with a dash of King Crimson. Somehow, eight minutes into it, it gets even more intense with some metallic guitars and added crunch into the mix, just giving a really creepy, menacing, very dark vibe and a twisted style to this track. It's a really great opener and very deliberate in, in its march and sound as it builds and builds to this epic crescendo. I just really love it. Hydra is the next track, which starts with a great proggy, twisty interplay between guitars, organ, and sax. A bit lighter. Uh, at the beginning than, than was felt in some of that intensity in Hunter with more of like a groovy flow, but you still get this kind of feeling of anxiety hidden underneath the surface. It continues along as the guitars chug with a great vocal section and some accented organ sounds. We get uh, into a part that starts with sax and then adds layers on top of it to give a really cool feel. Some great proggy keyboard workouts towards the end as the intensity builds and builds. And we return to that opening proggy interplay that slowly falls away to just some light organ and almost sweet sounding clean guitar, but with a little underlying anxiety and menace in the sound to close this excellent piece of music. Just a really cool 10 minute track with a lot going on in the mix and kind of a more flowy uh, type of vibe and a groove to it. Then we get to Icaros at track number three, which starts with some static and a dark crimson riff in a distorted style before it opens up in sound in clarity with some more intense in instrumental workouts. This is another really harder edged uh, rocking song. Some off-kilter vocals are 
put over top the intensity. The sound palette just intensifies as it goes and builds. I like when the song settles into a dark, twisted groove with some menacing guitars and organ and sax soloing over top. Uh, just a big, epic burst of energy in this track that leads to almost a free jazz style workout with scattered drums, strange instrumental noodling, and it all culminates in a big, epic, heavy building ending that really has a great, big, epic scope to it. So, another standout track, another really great. Uh, track to start with. I think they released this as kind of an early single to give you a taste of the album and it's really really cool. And then we get into Sisyphus which to me is like the crowning jewel of the album, my favorite track. It's, it's the longest track at 13 minutes and there's a lot to it, a lot of layers, a lot of different movements as it goes through and flows to different things in different sections. Starts off with a jazzy, dark feel with some interesting vocals before we get into an interesting pattern with stabs of sax intercut with these big walls of static. It continues with a really tasty jazzy section, some great sax and organ before things get proggier and heavier with some intense organ sounds. This leads to some great laid back piano and sax with some great vocals that really remind me of that Peter Hamill, you know, Vandergraaf generator style sound before you're hit over the head with a wall of intense sound and chaos leading to some crazy jazz tinged proggy workout with screaming sax over some brutal riffs. After this you get some cleaner guitar entering the fray with some lighter jazzy sax and organ for a lighter respite from the heaviness and intensity before this starts building an intensity in its own way and there's more layers added also. Uh, so I, I like the contrast of this track how it moves and morphs between these darker, more riff-laden, heavy sections to these more lighter, jazzier, you know, cleaner guitar sections. The last few minutes build on a fantastic quirky melody played over and over on keyboards and sax with awesome backing drums and guitar accents. It's an epic play out that is just such a cool melody that just really works and it builds and builds to a really great and satisfying conclusion that almost has a tinge of like hope to it where the rest of the album was very dark and sinister but you get a little bit of a brighter feel in these last few minutes with this really uplifting melody but with a little bit of of darkness underneath hidden under the surface just really a great feel a great vibe to this album it has all the hallmarks of great prog music in my opinion it's very creative very eclectic it has some vintage sounds, but done in a more modern production style. And the band is just firing all cylinders. There's great instrumental sections. There's some interesting, quirky vocals that are very unique and really complement the music well. And I just find myself really enjoying this, just really having fun listening to all the intense buildups, to the great saxophone work, to the vintage organ sounds, and to some really creative, cool drumming. And it all culminates in a really great album that is one of the summits of <laughs> prog releases for this year as far as I'm concerned. So please check this one out. It's one that I heartily recommend to all fans of classic prog music, especially if you like things like King Crimson and Frank Zappa and some of the quirkier, uh, more jazz-laden areas of the prog world. This is really for you, so please check it out. I'd really recommend it, and I hope you guys enjoyed this review and my description of it. It was fun getting to talk about this album that I've been really digging. So, so please let me know in the comments how you feel about this album if you've heard it, and any other recommendations for other new albums that you might want me to check out and cover on the channel. So thank you guys, and just keep on listening to the music out there. Bye everybody!